Look, I just need to show you guys something real quick. This is, this is a six samurai list that got first place of a decently sized event, 50 players in OCG two months ago, host Rage of the Abyss. This is a six samurai list that topped. And you may be wondering, where's the sauce? Rescue Hedgehog is the sauce. Rescue Hedgehog, Primites, and there are so many other ways you can play six samurai without relying on the burn FTK. But I think Rescue Hedgehog has proved itself here as being a very solid way to start the six samurai turn. Because back when we had Esold, there are plenty of ways to have one card combos for this deck, right? You had Neo Space Connector, you have a whole bunch of different options. But the reason why Rescue Hedgehog works so well is because you get to set up multiple six samurai monsters on top of being able to pivot between something like Le Legendary Lord to be able to help you get a monster negate before you actually start your turn or uh, you know access to the primordial engine to be able to bring out uh, the chamberlain uh, unexpected die and unexpected die plus pri uh, primate roar actually work really well together because if you do unexpected die chain link one and primate roar chain link two roar cares about having no monsters on resolution and unexpected die only cares about having no monsters on activation meaning roar is going to be chain link two is going to summon out your monster first and then unexpected die resolves to summon out your monster second, meaning you get to have two monsters summoned from deck instead of just one, even though both require you to have no monsters on field at some point. So with that being said, there is a lot here that we can learn from Six Samurai and how to utilize it a little better, but they're using the uh, Masquerade FTK here instead of the Gaga Cowboy one, probably because they have triple Digusto Emeralds. This is definitely like going to influence the fact that they can just shuffle back, shuffle back, shuffle back. They don't need to make Omega the same way that we do. They also have Summon Sorcerers legal there. And uh, guess what? They're still not playing Kizaru. Kizaru is fucking useless. All right. I don't know how many times I need to say it. This is the OCG, right? So here in TCG, it's like, okay, we got this dude who's saying like, okay, first place, six samurai deck list. And then he has triple Kizaru in the list. I'm so sorry, but th this card is worthless. If the fact that we have that OCG had a card like Esold, they were playing how many equip spells? Uh, one, two, three, four. They were playing four equip spells and they still thought not even a single Kizaru was worth playing. Should tell you everything that you need to know about Kizaru. It is not a good card in this deck. It does not actually make the deck. It does not actually advance the, the, the deck's game state because the only time you can conveniently summon out a Kizaru is if you either hard open it with a Kageki or if you if you summon it off of Sarayuja. But if you're summoning off of Sarayuja, that means you're searching it with Gateway and then summoning off of Sarayuja. Meaning that instead of just summoning out the Kizaru, you can just search the six Samurai monster that you were gonna search initially anyway, and then just summon that six Samurai monster. You really did not have to play the damn thing in six Samurai for six Samurai to work. Yuriza and Spirit of the Six Samurai have more of a play here, thanks to something like Rescue Hedgehog. Again, should tell you everything you need to know about fucking Kizaru. Hatsume is still fucking goaded though. Don't 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 sleep on Hatsume, but Kizaru is garbage. I still think it is a garbage card. Now, congratulations to Agent Persuasion for getting uh, first place at locals with the Gagaga Cowboy FTK build. Right. He also does have Chishul in the list for hand looping your opponent. Right. This could be a really good way to play. The ulti Gaga Cowboy is fucking flexing on us. But yeah, it, it's it's a really solid way to. FTK the opponent using six samurai. So what's the point of this video? I had a query on my previous six samurai video where I was discussing the lines through hand traps. People were kind of wondering, well, now that Appalooza is banned, what can six samurai do? What kind of end boards can six samurai make without an Appalooza in the mix? And I'm like, that's a really good question because Appalooza provided so much easy access to monster negates without needing to really think too hard about it you just summoned out like a bunch of keys on you linked off to, into a bunch of shit and then you had like uh you know Xi'an, you know uh, S ip it was easy back then so now i decided to challenge myself to figure out what are some lines that a new six samurai deck could play i'm, I'm just going to show you off the list real quick we're going to delve more into it later but just ju just just burn this image into your retina right some of the cards in the side deck i'm also going to be using right so there's going to be alternative lines here uh, like maybe one line we're using Rev Synchron, you know, one line we're using this or that. This is the list I've decided upon for now, but let's just look into some of the combos and then you, you may start to see what exactly it is that we're cooking here. So why Rescue Hedgehog? Again, Rescue Hedgehog is the only way that here in TCG we can get Six Samurai started with only one card. Without Esold, without really any obvious link or um, easily accessible monster, 
we need access to our engine in a way that like gives us multiple cards once we you know start to link off or, or start to play our turn so all we need for to make this line possible is rescue hedgehog plus one other card i don't believe there's any other card in ego that can start the six samurai turn with just 1.5 cards at the moment you need at least 2.5 cards or more so we go rescue hedgehog and we're going to bring out the kagamusha of the blue flame now this isn't a, a level three monster so you may be wondering like okay if you're not going to secret summon what's the point well the idea here is that uh the tactical trainer of the six samurai is going to make up for the kagamusha but the only way to dig tactical trainer out of deck is to have a level two earth warrior normal monster which kagamusha the blue flame is the perfect target for this and it's also kind of funny because if you know the six samurai lore then you know kagamusha is actually the very first six samurai monster because this card was shown in the first Yu-Gi-Oh. this is actually one of jo joey wheeler's cards it was later adapted into the six samurai lore slowly becoming kagamusha the six samurai and then shadow of the six samurai shien and then being a very important and integral part of the six samurai lore so we get to go kagamusha plus Tactical trainer and we go straight into battle shogun so Battle Shogun is going to drop another card in hand, and Instructor is going to trigger to get us the Six Strike Double Assault. Battle Shogun gets his Gateway. Activate Gateway. Activate Double Assault. So we're going to, get to summon out any Six Samurai monster from Graveyard, and then go into uh, Battle Shogun. So Gateway gets to drop four, add a monster. We're going to add our Anarchist Monk. And for this particular line, we're going to need Triple Battle Shogun, right? We're, we're starting with one card and we're gonna need to get these resources um, going. Now, if you open the Anarchist Monk, then that's fine. You don't really need to link off into a third Battle Shogun, then you'll only need two of them. So now um, the uh, Anarchist Monk gets to search us the uh, Asceticism, and then we're gonna detach four from Gateway, search our keys on, and this is Basically, Gateway is back down to zero counters on it. And once we summon out this keys on, it's going to be two and then it's going to be one. So th this is actually the part that you want to be at that's most important. If you get Gateway down to zero counters and Battle Shogun down to zero, you summon any monster, any six Samurai monster to Battle Shogun zone, Gateway's going to gain two counters, Battle Shogun's going to gain one. You remove two of the counters, to, some, to uh, give Battle Shogun 500 more attack points, and his attack points is always going to be 1600. And so thanks to that, Asceticism get, uh, digs us for one of the best uh, six Samurai monsters in our deck, which is the Hatsume. So Hatsume gets to revive the, instruct, uh, the tactical trainer of the six Samurai now by banishing uh, two of our Battle Shoguns because we don't need them anymore. Now we get to Synchro Summon into our uh, Legendary Lord Six Samurai Shien to add us another Extender, which will be uh, our t another Tactical Trainer. And because we actually didn't use Tactical Trainer's effect to summon itself yet, because we've only been summoning it off of other card effects, we get to summon him now, and we get to uh, Synchro off into the original Shien. And now this is looking pretty good, right? We got uh, you know the new Shien, the old Shien working together. Now we got keys on in the mix. So where does it expand from here? Where where do we go from here? So we're gonna start taking counters off our gateway. Our gateway had like 12 counters up to this point. So we're gonna go for our keys on, go for our shout of the six samurai just to you know farm for more counters. And then we're gonna search Anishi, search keys on, I mean special keys on, special grandmaster. And then we uh, link four into Sarayuja, and the reason why we link four that way is because that allows Sarayuja to have its effect. We're gonna draw four, put back three. Um, at this point, it really doesn't matter who, who, like what you draw, but you know it could be potentially like a hand trap or something in case you don't need it for cross out. So now we go gateway again. Oh, I also think it, it should be noted that if you start this. Uh, your turn without Rescue Hedgehog and you draw into Rescue Hedgehog later on in your turn then you could put back your normal monsters or whatever and then go Rescue Hedgehog to summon out your monsters from deck. In this particular line you see me have Chamberlain in my hand uh, because I was messing around with Chamberlain at that point but as as, as you can see you really only need the Kagamusha, the Blue Flame um, and the Tactical Trainer you really don't need anything else. So. 
we go Sarayusha to summon out the Nishi, and then we go summon out the Kizon. Now this is actually really funny because a Nishi can banish any two six samurai monsters during either player's turn to, to bounce any monster on field back to hand, including our own. So we get to bounce the keys on, and because our uh, gateway is at uh, six counters here, we get to summon out keys on again. Now we're at double the counters. We're at eight counters. So basically, instead of this one keys on only giving us two counters for its summon, we're getting four counters for its summon thanks to a Nishi being able to bounce it back to hand. So now we are just going to keys on loop or Grandmaster loop, what may have you. Now we're going to put one of our Battle Shogun's back to go into Battle Shogun again. I don't think you need to do this, but let's see. What am I cooking? We're going to make the Nightmare Griffin, actually. And this is really important. There, there's two things you have to know about Nightmare Griffin. First off is that if you Link Summon him and he is not pointing to a monster in any of his four directions, he cannot use his on summon effect. He will restrict himself from being able to set a spell or trap card if you do not uh, orient his Link arrows properly. So he has to be pointing to a monster to, to even be able to activate his effect in the first place. Secondly, is uh, because we, we have him co-linked, we, we do get to draw a card off of his effect, but he will get to reset our six strike double assault. And the reason why this is a big deal is because we have our two six samurai synchros here. This will actually allow us to be able to um, make our double assault a proper interruption during the opponent's turn. So now at this point, I'm going to Zeolantis. I don't think the Zeolantis is necessary. If I'm being real, um, I kind of just put it here because it gets you more counters on gateway. We, we have two counters on gateway right now. It's going to get us to four counters. In case you wanted to keep your Nightmare Griffin on field, you could, um, in theory, have like a, a scenario where Nightmare Griffin stays on field. So now anything that is not linked or any special monsters that are not linked cannot activate their effect. And then you have the Six Strike Double Assault, which will be able to revive the Anishi and then book a Muda monster. And then Anishi will be able, just like we bounced our own keys on, to be able to bounce an opponent's monster uh, from the field back to the hand. So that is like a 1.5, a, a relatively decent 1.5 card combo uh, for Six Samurai. It's very like, I can't even call it low to the ground, but it's a very like uh, relatively small end board compared to like some of the other combos that, that, that we're going to be showcasing. But it is very effective because we do end on like a pseudo floodgate with Nightmare Griffin. You just have to be really careful how do you how you utilize this card. But yes, it can be utilized mixed with other uh, six samurai cards to uh, potentially stop your opponent from playing the game. So now uh, we're we're gonna go back to our roots, right? So just Anarchist Monk plus Instructor, plus a card to discard, assuming these are our only two Six Samurai cards in hand. What kind of line can we make off of these two? Gateway, Double Assault, go for Tactical Trainer, Gateway Search, right? I mean, Gateway Drop, make it uh, 16. So we go for Hatsume, as I mentioned earlier. You, always, you are always able to make 1600 uh, Battle Shogun. So Hatsume should always be a possibility. So we go for uh, Klesha. We go for Grandmaster. And make sure that you're detaching all the Bushido counters from your uh, Battle Shoguns before linking them off. It doesn't matter if you have an uneven number of, of materials or of counters on Gateway. As long as you get rid of the ones on Battle Shogun, it'll, it'll give you more Gateway searches in the short term. So now we're going for the Menadium Triscuta. And this is going to deviate a little bit because this allows us to A, get an extra six Samurai summon in. So we get two more counters on Gateway to potentially loop for more uh, keys ons and searches. But this also allows us a play into a card that we may not have considered before, which is the Visus Amritara to be able to grab us the Menadium Reframing as a way to play around board breakers. So instead of relying on something like Nichuria Beast to like stop all the spell cards, which it can't stop every spell card, could be a really effective way of uh, making sure that your board 
stay safe. So now we're going to go for keys on loop some more. So drop from gateway, drop from battle shogun, get the Anishi. Drop from gateway, get the keys on, drop from gateway, get the key, uh, get the keys or, excuse me, go for nightmare griffin first. Um, because it's pointed to Devisa's Emery Tara, we get to drop the Kizaru. And the reason why this actually is so funny is because this could this could be Fuma, this could be Hatsume, but Kizaru, uh, if, if a 6 Samurai you control would be destroyed um, by, by card effect, you could banish him instead. Uh, so in case they decide to pop one of your monsters with a card effect, Kizaru can protect it from the graveyard. Same thing with... Um, your Hatsume, she can also protect your uh, Six Samurais. So again, we're gonna reset the double assault. So now we're gonna go uh, Gateway here, get us a Six Samurai, and then we have Seriza with uh, four materials. Now, as I said, you could go Rescue Hedgehog to uh, get you two more monsters, but I just wanted to showcase the proper line. So Anishi. So now we're gonna remove four. Got a uh, keys on. So now Nishi bounce to keys on. Summon again. That's going to give us four more counters on gateway to search one more time. And this is going to end on IP plus Nishi plus double assault. The reason why this combination of cards is so good is because, okay, Nishi has a uh, quick effect to bounce any monster on field back to hand. IP Masquerina can then link off with the Anishi to make SP, to make banishes, right? So that's that's three interruptions right there. Then you consider Double Assault, which will not only be able to Book of Moon a monster our opponent controls with 2,000 or less attack, but also revive the Anishi again, who is a soft once per turn, meaning that these three cards together equals five interruptions. Just these three cards together. And then you have three hard negates of like one monster, one spell or trap, and then one whatever. So eight interruptions off of 2.5 cards, kind of similar to uh, what we could do before, except the disruptions are a little more skill based. So these ones are a little more like direct interruptions. These are like indirect interruptions. So as you can see, our, our uh, extra deck seems to be very, very uh, full today. And there's going to be a good reason for that. This is a more experimental kind of end board that you can make. So this time we're, we're just going straight for the Yuriza. No, uh, no Hatsume since we didn't have the extender. Now we're going to go for uh, Shien. Go for Kizan. Gateway. And uh, Battleshell can just straight up had four counters there. It's pretty sick. So you go for keys on, another keys on, go for shadow. That was like nine fucking Bushido counters right there. Go for uh, Grandmaster. Go for another keys on. And then we get to make Sarayusha, Sarayusha effect. Draw three, put back, Kizaru. Kizaru effect, go for Hatsume. Now, there is actually a reason why we summoned Kizaru here. We really didn't have to. But I just wanted the extra uh, search off of Kizaru with Hatsume. So now I get to go gateway again. Go for Instructor, and now we get to go for our Manadium. And this time, our Manadium Triscuta is going to get us the uh, Instructor back. And then we get to go into the Axel Synchron. Now, this is actually going to be pretty hype. So, Axel Synchron gets to um, increase or decrease its level by a Synchron monster that you send from the deck to the graveyard. Now, I believe sending the Synchron monster is cost. 
because the semicolon's right here. So you mill a revolution synchron and then you can turn Axel Synchron into a level two tuner monster to be able to still make the Visus and Ritara. So now Visus is going to be able to dig us for the reframing. So now we have to go uh, Gateway. And since Rev Synchron's in the graveyard, drop one, special out Rev, it becomes a level one tuner. Now we get to go for Kizon and we get to make Naturia Beast, right? Which is just really convenient for us. Now we get to go uh, Gateway, Rota, Gateway again, Link into IP. Uh, now you have IP into Visus with uh, Seri, which I could have made a second Seriuja, summoned out Anishi from hand, and then went for IP. I just didn't feel like using the Visa Semitari here. But yeah, essentially you can have uh, Seriuja, uh, Anishi, IP. But the reason why it's like not as strong is because we, we didn't recycle the uh, double assault. Yeah, Gateway of Four counters Nature Eight Beast and Legendary Lord Chien. I feel like this should be enough, to be honest, to stop someone from playing the game. I could be wrong, but. Uh, it, to me, it seems like this this should be enough to stop someone from playing the game. Uh, and then Nature Beast with 2,500 attack seems pretty strong as well. Uh, IP to stop any strong monsters from uh, slapping us in, in the battle phase. And yeah, uh, Shien to stop any monster effects. So now I want to show something of a test hand. And it's going to be utilizing the spell card Monster Reborn. I do think this could be a viable card in Six Samurai because... What you realize is that half the time that you're searching, like with Anarchist Monk and with uh, Tactical Trainer, a lot of these cards are just summoning back a monster from Graveyard. So if you have something like Spell Card Monster Reborn that summons back your monsters from Graveyard anyway, you're going to have a better time playing into certain things or playing around certain things, since Spell Card Monster Reborn pretty much does the exact same thing. Uh, and this also gives you the leisure of being able to use like your Legendary Lord Six Samurai um, for like a Link or a Synchro Summon because uh, this can actually just bring the monster back, and it just it just won't be able to activate its effects that turn. But like come the following turn, it, it, it's it's a uh, you know negation will be live again, so it should be perfectly fine. So there you go, Spellcard Monster Reborn for Kizaru, Anarchist Monk. So Battle Shogun, get us one, Anarchist one, get us two. Get to go for Yuriza here. Uh, yeah, so now you go Double Assault. Kizaru gets to add one. Gateway. Kizan. Now remember, we hard opened the, this Kizaru. That's the only reason why it's really even here. Keys on, Gateway, Grandmaster, Suryusha, draw four, drew, drew into a dojo, Summon out Hatsume, Hatsume effect, bring back Kizaru, which I don't think was correct. I think I probably should have brought back a level two tuner, but it's fine. <clears throat> now I get to go Gateway. Gateway again. He's on. Sarah Egypt. Excuse me, World C. We get to rearrange some of our zones. Put back our uh, Battle Shogun to start gaining counters again. And now every single summon under the zone of Battle Shogun gives us four counters. Another Seriusia. And as you can see, we're really starting to dig into our deck. Get us all the cards we need. Go for uh, Cunning. And then Kizaru is going to search us like something useless. Again, this is why Kizaru really, is, um, really isn't that useful.
Make that gust to arm roll. And it's like, a lot of these combos are really just playing with yourself. Like, this is why you might as well just FTK the opponent if you have the ability to. Because, holy shit. Like, look at how much I'm doing. All of this just to go past turn. Like, that would frustrate the hell out of people, right? Like, you might as well just win that turn. We go into the Rev. This time we turned the Axel Synchro level 8 so that Rev Synchron can come back. So we get the Okies on. Probably gonna make Naturia Beast right here. Okay, we just go straight into IP. I, I was wondering, because we probably could have made Nightmare Phoenix. But uh, I don't think I had enough space to play Nightmare Phoenix and IP in that scenario. Uh, I mean, not, not Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Griffin. I didn't have enough space to make the Nightmare Griffin and the IP in that scenario. So I probably just opted for the IP uh, plus the Nishi. That's still pretty strong reframing. And then we have tons of follow-up in our hand. 11 counters on Gateway. Uh, no counters left on Dojo. We we, we utilized all them shits, <laughs> but yeah, um, this should be a pretty good hand for. I mean, a pretty good board for like dealing with whatever the opponents got got coming for us. Um, bounce, imperm, hard interruption with the reframing. Basically, no spells are being activated. So th these are the kind of boards that Six Samurai can make without using Appaloosa. Does Appaloosa just make all of this a hell of a lot easier? Yes. We would definitely still be using Appaloosa if it was legal. But I just wanted to explore some of the possibilities, some of the potential end boards. 7 plus, like 8 plus, 7 plus interruptions. I think it could be really good. And we had a cross out, so we were playing through a hand trap. Uh, potentially even two hand traps because we also had Legendary Lord. So this is where I've ended up. This is like the general frame, I think of Six Samurai if you want to play non-FTK variant. Obviously I've already shown the FTK variants and like the kind of cool stuff that that build can do, but if you're playing non-FTK variant, I think this could be a good place for you to start. I do think the Anishi is uh, really only here for going second, so maybe if you want to side deck it rather than have it in the main deck. Um, I do think the Manadium Trisk you can play one or the other you don't have to play both battle shogun's here for the rescue hedgehog combos but if you're not a believer in the rescue hedgehog then you don't need the, the third battle shogun so that's like three to four flex spots right there if you would rather play axel synchron and naturia beast i also think dweller is a really good one if you know like the matchup you can uh just leave a dweller on your end board uh maybe you know side the dweller in like side Maybe have like the Dweller inside to swap out between the Anishi and the... Uh, I also have Barricade Board Blocker here in case your gateway gets removed from the field. This guy can help you bring him back. Board Breakers for going second, Dark Ruler, Tactics, Evenly. You really don't need to interact with your opponent's field uh, using your main deck. It's like you just let your Board Breakers do all the work, right? With like Fuelos and stuff like that. And then just like go for game uh, when you're going second. Uh, which isn't like the best game plan, but I think it's a lot more effective than like trying to rely on just like, I don't know, spamming them with like gateway and like having like no protection otherwise. You'll probably definitely take out like Kizaru's and like Kageki's and, and, and small stuff like that going second. I, I've yet to really try this deck out in person, so when I do get like a solid build, I'll make an IRL deck profile just like I did for Goblin Biker. But uh, until then, hope you guys enjoyed. This has been your boy Nistro here. Uh, let me know if you guys if you guys have any more questions about Six Samurais, uh, potential FTKs, potential uh, end boards, um, combo pieces, end pieces. Hit me up in the comment section below. Join the Discord or uh, hit me up on Twitter. It's been your boy Nistro here. Signing out.